Hello there, and welcome back to the Return Homestead. Today we are going to be replacing store-bought dog treats with homemade. Now you guys, this is super simple to do. And since I began making dog food for Sunshine, she won't touch the store-bought kibble. And I don't blame her. So this only uses four ingredients. It's really easy. Now I'm doubling this batch. The reason why is I have homegrown pumpkin that I have pureed and I have it in two cup increments. So I don't want to waste the one cup, and this recipe only calls for one cup. So I will give you the recipe, but I will be doubling it. So in order to make this, you're going to use two cups of flour. Now you can use whole wheat, white, whatever you choose. So in the bowl, I have my flour. It's going to call for one cup of pumpkin. Now you can substitute sweet potatoes for this if you'd like. They work kind of the same with animals, so you could use sweet potatoes. It calls for two eggs, and it calls for a third a cup of peanut butter. Now with the peanut butter, I'm using an organic, all-natural peanut butter. You've got to watch because some peanut butters have sweeteners, uh, sugar, xylitol, and those things can be damaging to your dog. So. I'm going to take my flour, add my pumpkin, now I imagine that once I give her these she won't want the store bought, even though the store bought that I buy is actually safe for humans to eat and it's made with sweet potatoes and peanut butter. So to the pumpkin I'm going to go ahead and add my peanut butter. You're going to want your oven preheating to 350, and I'm going to add the eggs. And you're simply just going to beat this up until it's all incorporated. Okay, now I've put my dough onto a floured mat to keep it from sticking to everything. And you're going to roll this out. Now depending on how thick you roll this and how long you cook it, it will either make them soft or crunchy. Sunshine's little, so we don't give her a lot. And in our house, dog treats are known as number news. I don't know how it got to that. Probably from me. But she begs for them every night. Now my real estate agent... Now my real estate agent used to love to come over. She knew exactly where I kept him in the pantry and treat her because Sunshine has never really warmed up to a lot of people. And this way she could get her to warm up to her. So she'll do just about anything for a treat. Now you can get little uh, molds or cookie cutters if you want. I'm just going to cut these into squares. Sunshine doesn't care what shape they're in. She just likes them. 
and I'm going to roll this till about an eighth. So I'm just going to cut these into serving sizes for her. And you're going to want to put them on a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. Now when you're using your dough, you're gonna want it kind of stiff, so it'll be almost like a sugar cookie dough. So you'll have to put as much flour in there as it'll give you as to get that texture. And basically all I've got is a small funnel and I'm stamping out circles. You're going to put this on a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. I'm going to just continue putting these on and then I'll put them on in the oven. I'm going to make them somewhat crisp, so between, between 10 and 20 minutes. My oven cooks a little funny. And you're going to do this until you've used up all of your dough. So one batch filled this plate. I didn't bake both of them. I put one in a freezer bag. I labeled it dog treats and how long I, I am to cook it and at what temperature. So simply I have to pull it out of the freezer, defrost it, roll it out, put it on a cookie sheet. Now I ended up cooking these 20 minutes because some of them were a little thicker and it's very easy if they're thick to cut them in half. She doesn't need double this, but she loves these things. I will put enough in the refrigerator for one month and the rest will go in freezer. So they will last after they're baked for six months in the freezer. This will go in the freezer until these are done. Well, I hope you decide to make some dog treats for your pet and replace what you're buying in the store. You know what goes into this. You, there was only four ingredients. This is much better for her. In fact, I'll probably have a hard time keeping Mike out of them because they are human edible. It's just peanut butter, eggs, flour, and pumpkin. That's it. They don't need any flavoring, nothing. The dogs don't care. So these are her new number news. She's thrilled with them. And I don't have to purchase anymore. I can get all this stuff local. Well, thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That tells YouTube you like the video. They'll push it out to more people. Until we see you next time, God bless and bye-bye. So the store bought. Looks like a dog bone. And then, yeah. That one too? Okay, you can get one.